okay. It's only taken me like 15 minutes to get ready, but I'm ready. So we're going to dive in. <laughs> My face needs to be huge, huh? I don't think May really makes good decisions. Oh man. Jester, we are so in the future. I am playing a video game from my computer onto a television, sending it through the internets to your computer. No, to your television, but you're typing on a computer. I don't know. Yeah, Doug, don't be a pro streamer like me. Don't do it. Wait, 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 wait. Why is my controller not working? Oh no! Guys, my controller's not plugged in. That's going to put a damper on playing this game. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Um, okay. Oh, it's because I was going to do some art. Why was I doing art? Oh, it's because I was drawing pictures of Ornstein and Smo killing me uh, last week. Yeah, well, no, if I do a green screen, then you can put my face over the game thing. So, Nox. Nox, are you going to come join us? You going to come join? Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, you know what's great, guys? She can shake my desk all she wants, and the camera won't shake. Hi, Nox. Are you going to get in the way of everything? Are you going to jump up in front of the television? Nox. Nox. Nox is just like... Just like sitting there. Oh man, I love this song. Nox, you're gonna have to move or I won't be able to see the text. Oh, Nox. So, last time we talked about Final Fantasy VI. And... We talked about believing in magic, but not in a My Little Pony friendship sort of way. And we talked about... You see a tail? I don't, I don't know where you would see a tail. May doesn't have a tail. Um, yes, we also pondered the ethics of petty theft. That is a pretty accurate description of what happened. Here, let me... I'm going to do some shifting so the music is going to be a little bit weird as I turn things off and move things around. There we go. We did bust up a scary furnace. We went on a second date. Not date. Maybe they'll become dates? With B? Um. And they're pretty cute as friends. And they have a... They have a manner of speaking when they are talking to each other on the internet. No, Doug, we are not arranging die anywhere else. I want to do some of the vocal music from this game eventually, but um, there might be Halloween music coming at the end of the month, collaborating with some friends. So if you like Night in the Woods music and happen to know which track was stuck in my head all weekend long, you can probably guess what it's going to be. Okay, yeah, well, Doug, you're not doing the same thing I'm doing because I'm collaborating with a friend who is going to put chiptune parts and another friend who's going to put trombone parts and I'm going to be a flute. Are you a flute? Actually, yes, Doug has told me he is a flute. Anyway, um... Oh, yeah, okay, um... Last time, we successfully stole a pretzel so that we could feed our precious divine mouse babies. And we did that. They were very hungry. I'm wondering whether I'm going to have to feed them more pretzels. But I will do that. Um, okay, well, Doug, maybe we just have to collaborate together on Night in the Woods. How does that seem? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really excited about this, like, camera on a stick thing. Um, oh, and also, apparently, last time, one of the writers on the game who I follow on Twitter was lurking. If he's here, please don't tell me. <laughs> because then I'll get really self-conscious. I didn't know it was him until like I finished streaming and then like people had tweeted me about it and I like looked into it and I was like oh which is actually really funny because I was talking about him on stream and then he said something and I didn't realize it was him so that's kind of awkward <laughs> but hey probably he's got better things to do than watch me dork around about Final Fantasy 6 and 
chase squirrels. I don't know. See, this is me being uh, embarrassed. So. <laughs> yeah, I will take all of the pretzels and the little old guy will be so mad at me. Oh, me. I made my boss a carrot cake, which is in the fridge right now. Do, 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 do. Buttons. Buttons! I remembered the button! This is a good start. Hold on, hold on. So I've been trying to remember. I had... I had a buddy like Sharkle. I had some of these things, and I don't remember what any of them were, and this bothers me. I think I actually had a cat person, like a little cat girl, which seems oddly appropriate, I think. That must have been quite a... I don't think it was Bonsai Buddy. I don't remember. But it's like the most 90s thing. I like that May's laptop is old. It's set in the past, just like she is stuck in the past. Oh, hey, before we go anywhere in this game, I wanted to talk about a thing. God, I hope I set the oven right for that cake. Well, we'll find out. Um, so, I've been thinking about May's nightmares because, unsurprisingly, May's nightmares are one of the most interesting parts of the game. And it's interesting because I wasn't really expecting, um, like, I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting that. So I'm enjoying the stylized dialogue and the characterization quite a lot. There's a lot of nuance in the characters' interactions, and that's really cool, and the world feels really real despite being so stylized. But I want to talk about the um, the music. Not the music. Well, I mean, there is music in it, but the, the, the nightmares. So May is a violent person by nature. That has been made abundantly clear. She hospitalized a kid... Um, she gets really mad occasionally, not very often, but you kind of get the sense that there's this like fuming fury underneath the surface. Um, and sometimes it comes to the surface. So May's first nightmare, she has a baseball bat, which we then later see her use on the furnace and she goes to town on that, but it's not like in a crazy way. She's like, this is the coolest thing instead of like going completely nutso. Um, <laughs> thanks, Chester. Nox, Nox, do you want to sit in my lap, baby? Come here, come here. Eh, eh. Okay, so, so in the first dream, the first nightmare, because I think it's safe to say they're nightmares, May just like wipes everything out with the baseball bat, unless you're me, and then you don't, even though she probably would. Um, and then, of course, you have to take out that boss. Like, boss, we're using... Um, we're using fighting language because that's like what you do with playing video games and it's relevant. But so you take the thing out with a baseball bat, you have to destroy it through violent means. But in none of the other nightmares that we've seen, have you used violence even once, even like a little bit, like no violence, like there's no baseball batting the giant bear. There's no baseball batting the giant squirrel. In fact, if anything, you are connecting with other living or once living things, um, like the musicians. And so like you're solving a problem in a nonviolent way, a notably nonviolent way, using music, which is interesting because like May is in a band and the band is kind of what she does with her friends, but like the significance of music in the game world hasn't necessarily come through yet. But I'm thinking it's probably going to. So anyway, that's a thing that I've been thinking about thematically. I'm really interested to see where they go with that. If violence and nonviolence is a thing that they play with or not. So I have never seen Brother Bear. A bear and a squirrel and a four-person band. That's true. Oops, I was going to see if my friends had said something. But I got distracted talking about themes. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I can't focus on anything. I'm excited about this game, though. Anyway, I was trying to figure out how it is that people managed to beat this game in eight hours. Cause somebody said that they did. Um, but I think it's because they don't just do what I just did and spend ten minutes talking about that. All right. Mrs. Miranda. Oh. Well, maybe she shouldn't have locked us in the basement. Has she thought about that? All right. Oh, 
See, B wants to be my friend. Hello, Edette. That's really cute. Hmm. Hey, Menden. That's okay. What were you watching? The songs were not very food. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just a really good typo. <laughs> I know I should. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's really sad. Oh, no. This is bad. Food songs. I do like food songs. Do any of you guys just like randomly make up songs about food while you're cooking or to your cats? Nothing happened, Menden. Nothing at all happened. I just talked a lot. This is what happened. Um, I am having a mom friend meltdown. So like. Oh, that's right. There's news. Hold on. Yeah. I'm glad to know that you guys also sing as you randomly do things. Oh man, shepherd's pie is good. Do you make real shepherd's pie like with lamb or do you make the stuff with... Uh, okay, dumb mortgage. You know I would not be surprised if that becomes real. Uh, I need to remember that that is there. Oh, I'll just like make up words to my cats. The loading screens do seem to be taking maybe a little bit longer. Exactly, Jester, but a lot of people don't know that. So I will just say I'm making shepherd's pie and they expect it with beef, even though that's cottage pie. Ha, <laughs> nice, Menden. All right, I can do this. Hmm. You know, honestly, there's a dude who rented out space on his face for tattoos, for advertisements, and it ruined his life, which is probably the worst make money making idea ever. No, maybe not ever, but definitely bad. Okay, so there's nothing to interact with here, alas. So I'm going to go downstairs and go talk to mom. See, the bless this mess actually, I mean, so it's super cute, but it also makes sense in the context. Like, you wouldn't find a bless this mess sign at my house growing up, but you would find it at May's house. Oh, look, mom is too busy reading to notice me. She's got like this like very intent look on her face, which uh, May shares. Oh, maybe I should. Hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, being useful, Mary. Self deprecation. Hmm. Oh, no. Boring adult stuff. Oh, no. Please don't tell me. Tell me we're not having a hard time, like, paying rent or something like that or mortgage. That would be relevant to... Right. Yeah, number stress. Oh! That's my cake. I'm sorry, guys. Will you forgive me? <laughs> I don't think it's done yet, but I've got to check on it. Um, listen to this pretty music, and I will check on my cake. All right. Fifteen evens, all the same to me. 
All right, cake. I would share some cake, Chibi Ma, but I'm not in the same state as you. But perhaps I will bring cake when I am in your state. <laughs> All right, no, I shouldn't be burning down my home. That would be really unfortunate. God, May, don't burn down anyone's homes. Okay. So, bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Hmm, I see. The state of my cake is that it needs about 15 minutes or so more, I think. Um, we'll see. Mom is not doing so great. She's stressed. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Oh, I see. Well, I can't talk to her 10 times in a row today. I wonder why I could talk to her 10 times in a row yesterday. Did I do something wrong? I bet I did. Look at my cute little ears. They're cute, they're cute. Okay, let's go into town and talk to everybody. We can do that. Everybody. All right. Squirrel! Squirrel! Uh. No, squirrel, hold up! My favorite side character? Okay, you have to define what you mean by side character. Like, do you mean like a bit character, like not one of my friends? Boing. Oh man, hold up. Wait, I thought that that, oh no, it's when I run through them, so if I land in them. Oh my god, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel! I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you! I got you! Lori is the kid who hangs out on the roof, right? I think I might like her. She's the one who wants to make horror movies. Is Mr. Uh, Chazakov, is that the, um, I'm about to see him up there, he's there. The, uh, the guy who looks at, uh, the astronomer! Uh-oh. <laughs> We're gonna have an actual conversation. I feel you there, May. Actually, I'm kind of surprised. May seems like she would have been a really late bloomer. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a problem. This is a bad problem. Shout out to all the girls who had to call their mom in the middle of the day in middle school because you needed an emergency change of clothes. I will show you the cake when it's done. Falling in a trash can and puking on your stuff. <laughs> At least that makes a good story after the fact. Theoretical. Um, let's go with this one because that is phenomenally May. I don't think she literally meant it, Selmers. Or, nay. <laughs> no, but the thing is, think seriously, injuring someone for May doesn't seem like it's a fantastic story. That seems like a May is trying to avoid talking about its story. You know, like, there are certain subjects that May kind of talks around, and violence and romance are two of those. So, fruit snack thingies are pretty good. Oh no, self pukers. <laughs> I suppose that's true, Snackian. I mean, maybe it just means you got drunk, but it does sound kind of like hijinks. Or like, maybe the trash can was really gross. So, t tangent. Tangent, like, that's really gross. But like, I know that like, sometimes really bad smells are supposed to make you throw up. And like, I'll like, feel sick to my stomach, but I don't know that I've ever, ever been like, this is so, so gross, I can't hold it in. Is that a thing that happens? I don't know. 
Sour I could never get into sour candies. Oh, yeah. Gummies are good, though. Mm, nope. Never, not ever. Poems. Uh, excuse me, May, but we always want to hear Selma's poetry. Okay, that's understandable, Doug. We didn't do squids. We did sharks, and my partner and I named our Sharkarella. <laughs> I don't know why I remember that. I love how we're, like, simultaneously talking about candy and throwing up. <laughs> Thanks, Night in the Woods. Uh, did you name your squid, Doug? Okay. Oh, she wrote a poem about fruit snacks. Don't dissect charcoal. Don't do it. <laughs> by the train tracks. Fruit snacks and train tracks. That does actually rhyme, Selmers. No, it's not done yet, May. Oh, what are we going to rhyme with box other than Knox? Clocks? Fox? Blocks? Hmm. Headphones? Oh, no, we're going to rhyme headphones. Home? Hmm. Juice zone, I see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. I love like fake food names. They're pretty amazing. So what if you cosplay this group, do you wear like ears on your head that aren't your ears oh yay no he's not he's gonna be fine water tower hmm do we know about the fire water tower hmm all right, go ahead, yell at me. You know you're gonna. Here, Gundy, but be careful. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Let me figure it out. Oh no, well maybe you should walk her more, mister. I would jump on your head if this were a different game. Look at me, pretend I'm jumping on your head instead of on squirrels. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at me, I just, mm. All right. Haha, -ha, I made it. All right. Boing, boing, boing. Oh. Uh, how do I get up there? Nope. I'm still looking for one of those thingums, by the way. Whee! Hi, friend. I like how you greet me with my full name, but I'm not in trouble. Up here on my roof! Yep! <laughs> oh, I wonder if I'll see the other Dusk Stars, um, things. Of course. Why would I ever say no to these things? Again, filter. Oh, 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 oh. It's like the oxen free thing, but. Goodness. Did you drop your ball, Sterling? Oh, that must be a crystal ball. Okay. That's a good question. <laughs> eh? Oh, okay. 
so these won't be the fire breathing pope because my friends knew about the fire breathing pope well if I, if I remember correctly it's angus unsurprisingly who tells us all of those things because angus knows stuff tale of the world changing and leaving one behind Getting awfully philosophical early. No, this guy doesn't look like he likes it. His king met a new sage. I did! I played Longest Night and Lost Constellation, which was super exciting because. Lost Constellation was what let me know there was going to be magic in this game, which I didn't know there was going to be magic in this game, so I'm like super psyched. I'm really sad though because I missed, there's a conversation I super missed that I really want to see, so I might look it up or play through the game again. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Mr. Duskscar dude has alienized. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he's a magical star follower. An astronomer instead of a sage. Oh no. Hmm. Hmm. So science replaced magic. Sad for Sterling. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, this is a good question. This is a good question. Oh my gosh. I also miss talking to the child. In the witch's, uh, witch's hut. The Baba Yaga hut. Hi, cistern. Is there no responsibility? question oh right isn't this a former mining town in the rust belt not doing so hot symbolism hmm. well I'm going hanging out with B every day root Hey, Blade! <laughs> I believe that some should go hungry without homes because they are no longer useful. Thank you, Art. Thank you, Art. <laughs> they do indeed. The thing is that May isn't actually childishly carefree. She just wants to be this. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, I can tell you that the writer who I follow on Twitter is a member of the socialist, democratic socialists. So I would not be surprised. There's a little bit of that. Mr. Chazakov has some of the best writing. Um, there's a certain way that you write things that aren't, um, when you, we don't have a special, like, case for it in English, but there's, like, a special storytelling feel, and it's actually one of the trickiest things to pull off. So if you are reading something that is kind of half fairy tale-ish, so I'm having a hard time finding this one. But if you're reading something that goes back and forth between fairy tale and not fairy tale, um, it can be a re really hard thing to try to balance how how to have that kind of magic storytelling. Oh, 
I'm always very impressed when things do that well. All right, I'm close. I think I'm getting closer. Ah, I see, oh, I'm, I'm looking at which one of these stars. My cake. You guys are gonna have to wait in suspense. I will. This <laughs> species was retcon. That's a great way of putting it. All right, guys. Sorry. Hold on, just a second. Did I bring enough for the whole stream? Maybe. I did get flour all over my nice dress though. That's okay. I'm chilly. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna be a cold Lauren. Cause this is how I roll. Oh man. Yeah, no, it did actually feel like fall today. I wore a jacket. It was exciting. Stonebender, if you were here, I would give you cake. I do like to make cakes, and I would share cakes. If I go to MAGFest and places like that, I bring cake and cookies and things like that to hand out to people. So if anyone's going to be um, at Expo in Tulsa this weekend, I will give you cookies. If you're at TwitchCon the following weekend, I might have cookies. Yes. I live in Texas. Okay, so let's see what we're going on right here. Oh, hey! Dude, you've got a bayonet! Simone, the fighter, and Ella, the fuzzy. Ella, the fuzzy. Ella, don't use bayonets. I might have something for the Halloween show. I will be in California for TwitchCon uh, the weekend after this. Oh, she! That's nice. Nice uh, reversing gendered expectations. Simone lives in Goodland. Ah, I see. Hmm. Nox, what are you getting into? They're talking about fascism. Come here, baby. Oh my gosh, baby. Oh dear, foreshadowing? Here's a Nox. Nox. Do you think that Simone managed to beat the fascists? Probably not. She wouldn't be in the sky if she actually made it. Hmm. 
Oh my goodness. Like numbers. Oh yeah, I know, I know, May, I know. That's the wrong form of law of lead. It should be LED. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I am, and that is a proofreader. Oh dear, this is not gonna end well. And good. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is beautiful. We shall indeed. <laughs> that is really sad. It's good to know things that you because you love them and not because you're being paid. <laughs> All right, let's climb up some more roofs. How do I get up on top of that one? That's a good question. Chrono, one of the um one of the stories, one of the star stories was beautiful. The way it was written about was beautiful anyway. The content itself is dark, but I wanna jump on that roof. Well, and specifically what he said at the end, um, when they exhumed all of the bones from the mass graves, um, and they couldn't determine which bones were hers, so they said that she lived on the bones of all of her countrymen. That's really cool. That is just a really, that is just gorgeous, like, powerful, like, chills moment, which is really cool. But I also really want to knock that acorn onto the ground. Oops! There were pumpkins! The pumpkins got here yesterday, I think. They were not here the day before. Alright. Bo boing, boing, boing! Not. Oh, yes! It was enough! Okay, what can I do here? Oh, no, Nox, I'm sorry. Halloween is my favorite holiday, too. I also really like New Year's. Oh, squirrels. Hmm. I want to... I will, George. I can tell you that. Fact. Koneko and I are going to be doing a cover. I think I asked him to do the one that I want to do with him. I don't know if he remembers it. Oh, I thought Harfest was the name of their ridiculous, like, town celebration. I'm coming after you, squirrel! You can run, but you can't hide! Gotcha. Ha. Oh my god, I love the little squeak. Hi! Oh, what? You won't talk to me? I really want to go back there. Look! Look! I want to go to the shrine thing! Oh my gosh, children. Not even disaffected youths. Honest to god kids. This person is new. Are you a bunny? You kind of look like a bunny. I think you're a bunny. 
Pumpkins everywhere, pumpkins. It's not super hard to jump on the squirrels. I'm just bad at controls. Okay, well, squirrels are sassy, that's true. That's like part of being a squirrel is that you have to have sass. Oh my gosh, kitties! All right, see Harfest. Crazy costume parade. Katie Washington has never lost a child. Katie Washington, we should hire you. Mm. Casey, Casey, you're the last person on my chat. Maybe they just take it really seriously, this particularly ho particularly holiday. Look! Cat! Cat! Hi, cat! Whee! Boing! Boing, boing! Boing, 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 boing! Alright, this is gonna be bad. Please don't have evicted, my friend. Oh, wait! Didn't I get a new message? Oh, yes! So great. Oh, that's right! She made her husband into a mummy! Why did she do that? Why? 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 It's like, um, what's that William Faulkner story? A Rose for Emily? these woods. Hmm. Greg! Past the water tower. Ah, teens. Hmm. 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 Well, that's interesting. That's definitely significant. That's two people who've talked about it. So here's the water tower. I can see the water tower. It says Possum Springs. Can I bounce on this? No. What good's a tire if you can't bounce on it? Maybe you just don't aim for fire at all. How's that? How, how's that for a thought? Just like no fire. Let's go talk to mom and Pastor K. Why can't I jump on your counter, mom? Mom still looks grumpy. leaving you alone. <laughs> I'm a good daughter. Hey, Phil Maniac! Of course! I believe really firmly in that sort of thing. You know, George, I think probably just being supportive and letting your parents know that you care probably helps at least a little bit. No, it's true, Chrono. If there was... <sighs> 
Okay, so I don't know if I've told you this story, guys. I probably have. When I was in elementary school, fourth or fifth grade, my teacher once offered to pay me $5 if I could be quiet for like 15 minutes. <laughs> to which I immediately was like, but because I wanted to know what the parameters were. I wanted to know what the rules were and she said I was disqualified. <laughs> she was like, that counts. You're, you can't do it, Lauren. You can't be quiet for 15 minutes. I can't be quiet for five minutes. Let's be real. <clears throat> oh, man. Yeah, no, May's mom actually seems astonishingly well adjusted. And May's dad actually, like, it seems like for all that there's definitely been problems with this family in the past, um, they seem like they're doing pretty well, all things considered. Except May, who was not well adjusted at all. There's some trauma she really, really needs to process. And writing in a journal, while awesome, is not solving all of her problems. Okay, well, I talk to, like, everybody. It's kind of a problem. <laughs> when I was a kid, my parents would worry about taking me someplace because I'd come back to them, like, five minutes later and be like, Hi, this is my new best friend, and I'm going to tell you all about where she comes from, what her favorite food is, and where those are her parents over there, and we're going to do this. Bye! Yeah, sister, not super far, I don't think. I don't actually know. It doesn't really have, like, a progress bar. Um... Yeah, her doctor has some problems. I don't like these. If these are the folks that I think they are. I think they're the folks that are like, we want to get rid of... Uh, Bruce. Bruce. Yes! No! No, you cannot get rid of Bruce. No! Wait! Wait, are you going to actually, like, let him stay somewhere? <gasps> yes! With all the books, what's he going to do? Read them? Gosh. What a tragedy. Pastor Kate definitely wants to make the world a better place, and I respect that about her. Hmm. Yeah, no, Chrono. Like, she seems more optimistic than I think is necessarily um, justified. Oh, hey! We're going to try the tactic where she opens up to me, so that I'll open up to her. Pastor okay with me? That's cute. Huh. <laughs> it was cozy! <laughs> you might have too much stress and not enough sleep in your life. Yeah. Uh... Oh man, Nick. That sounds... Both rewarding and super depressing. Did you do that? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Pastor K, I'm sorry. Pastor K seems like one of those people who is like, if I believe hard enough that the world is going to be this way, it'll be this way. We can make it that way by trying to make it that way. I'm sorry, Pastor K. I'm sorry you're just one cog in the machine of the world. Cold, hard, uncaring world. Filled with people who do care. And that is where change will happen. I don't know that May believes it, but Pastor K does. And I will say, like,
I don't know. Having people like Pastor K around in the world does make the world a better place, you know? Like, a little bit at a time. Yeah, I like how you can tell that I'm trying to jump on the podium. I mean, basically just assume that I will jump on everything. I perpetually... Oh my gosh! She's got short pants! Short pants and boots! Oh my god, I love short pants! Because I've got short legs. So capris are short pants on me. Hmm. I don't think we're beatboxing. Not intentionally. I'm not cool enough for that. I'm gonna get you pigeons! Uh... I'm gonna... Wait, wait, I can do this from here. Oh yeah, I got a squirrel. That's pretty good. Nope. Let's try this again. She's a cat with boots. If you look, she smiles when she jumps. At least she's smiling when she jumps here. You know... Chibi Ma... Oh, wait, those aren't actually, those are background. Never mind, I can't jump on the smokestacks. As much as I might try. Wee, aw. One of my friends who does beatboxing flute keeps telling me he's gonna get me to do beatboxing flute. But I haven't yet. I'm gonna get you, pigeon! Bonk! Bonk. Pigeons are much easier to catch than uh, squirrels. Oh, I'm sorry, Chibi Ma. I got distracted. You were saying something, and I think I was going to reply to it. I don't remember what it was. Hi, friend! <laughs> I'm glad somebody calls me an adult. Oh no! Oh my gosh, we're friends! Oh! I have had that a lot. Uh, yes? <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, look at the little fidgeting! Look at the little fidgeting! Oh my god! Nervous fidgeting friend! Oh, that's right! Oh no! And they got all gross! We once had pumpkins that we painted at work and then they rotted and then they melted and they got all over the cabinets and smelled really bad, so don't do that, children! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. They liquefy, like they melt. It's really, really gross. <laughs> oh no, 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 this is potentially bad. Oh no. I don't think so, Doug. I think it's just a triangle, but... Oh no, did you have liquefied potatoes? Okay, good. They don't liquefy, they just grow. Yep, and it smells so bad. <laughs> okay, May, you have found somebody who gets you. Squish the metal thing on the tracks. Oh! So it gets flattened by the train. Brought a little metal dude. All right. Oh, we're laying down. Okay, I see. Don't put your feet on the tracks, kids.
Yeah, it's a nice decision to change the camera angle to be from above. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god, Lori is, like, so happy right now. She's a weird kid who is not in a good situation for her, and I don't think she's ever had anyone, like, get her before. And I don't think May's ever been... I don't think May's ever been anybody's grown-up role model before. May, you gotta pull yourself together to set a good example for Lori. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I think May might come to understand herself a bit better by talking to Lori. Sometimes to help another person out, you kinda like gotta like reach inside of yourself and find the piece that they need to hear. And sometimes it's the sort of thing that you wouldn't talk about for any other reason. You know? Yeah, no, like, I like that even though May has some anger issues, apparently, like, she's still a really loving, like, deeply loving person. She's just broken and we don't quite know exactly how badly or why. <sighs> I'm really sorry, Lori. Yeah, like, oh my god, I just... <sighs> I really love the fact that this game is made by people who clearly have a lot of cynicism and bitterness towards the world and its cruelty, but, like an overflowing and abundant love for the goodness of humanity. <sighs> it would be so easy for May to be a completely disaffected youth and her friends to be disconnected and her parents to be absent, but it's a whole bunch of people just doing the best they can. You know? And that's, like, the best you can do. Like, okay, I'm working on my book, and like, yeah, cyberpunk fun adventures and stuff, but this, this is actually what it's about. Is a bunch of people, some of whom are really in over their head, just trying to make the world a little better in their own way. And there's two things that I, uh, that I made up my mind about fundamentally in the book. I was like, first of all, there's going to be no sexual violence in my book and nobody's going to have that in their past because why not? And then I was like, also people are fundamentally good at heart. And there's a lot of badness and violence and awfulness in the world, but 
there's also a lot of good. Um, and I wanted to focus on the love and affection that people have for each other and how their strength comes from their relationships and the people that they love. Because that's the best part of life. I'm sorry! <laughs> uh, tangent. This is why it takes me hours to get through things. Anyway, this is beautiful. This whole scene is beautiful. We flattened our little dude. <laughs> oh my god, okay, I'm sorry. I know you guys like Selmer's, but I think Lori's my favorite. I just want to give her a big hug. Look at how happy she is! Oh my god, Lori gets a full page. I love that, like, the bigness of Lori's face and her name here, and, like, the, like, certainty and confidence that her name is written with, like, those letters, like, it's, like, making her matter. It's, like, Lori, I think, is, like, really, like, forgotten and doesn't have anybody, really. Um, but for one person, she fills up an entire clean, crisp, clear page in the notebook. And that's really cool. Lori, you're gonna be alright. If a giant monster, demon, spirit tries to eat this town, I'm not gonna let it. And you're gonna be alright. Oh my god. What if they kill characters in this game? I'm gonna be so upset. Oh my god. Nobody's gonna die. Nobody's gonna die. We're just gonna go visit some holy mice. Some miracle mice. No, but I got, I mean, I guess I can get another pretzel today, can't I? Let's see. I guess it would save time. Speedrunning strats! I want to feed them nice. No, it's cool. I got this. Hey, fishing man! Fishing man, are you writing more poetry? Oh, no fishing man. He's writing poetry. No, me. I'm sorry, fishing man. Yes, Moth Dude, I'm gonna be the most. the most AGDQ Night in the Woods player ever. Alright, we got it. 
successfully done crimes, but it's it's Robin Hood crimes. I mean, this guy's kind of mean, but I wouldn't say that he's like bad, but it's for a good cause. So they're good crimes, really. Good crimes, Robin Hood crimes, save the innocent crimes. No, we got this. So it actually is a really nice level design that um, the pretzels and the birds are really close to each other. And the birds, mice. <laughs> Thanks, Jester. Yes! I'm a master hardened thief with pretzels. Oh yeah, no, Gundy, but I'm not actually blaming him for being mad about things. Nick, they're innocent babies. How dare you call them Ruben? What? Ah. Okay. Got it. We're gonna do this. Whee! Look, Robin Hood is not defined by his shooting people. He's defined by robbing them the rich and giving to the poor. Oh, I can be Lauren Hood. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh my god! They're really excited! They know I'm gonna feed them! Oh my god, the Disney Robin Hood movie is one of my favorites. When I was a kid, I loved it. There we go. There, I thought there were two last time. Squizgar, that's probably true. I think Disney Robin Hood and uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers were probably the entry, uh, entry point for a lot of furries. Yay! Oh my god, May is so excited! Look at how good things are for May today. Look at look at the good decisions she's making. She's helping a sad child and feeding rat baby, miracle rat babies. Like, do you see how good? Do you see how good May is being right now? May, I would high five you. May, be like Pastor K, be like this. This is good. Oh man. Goat lung. Probably a band. I can't jump on it, what? I just wanna jump on everything. You know how it goes, right? You wanna jump on everything too, don't you? Um, <laughs> <clears throat> I mean It's boring. Hi! Oh, I'm trying to provoke that dog. Hi, Mr. Headless Statue. See, May and I have sometimes similar ways of uh, talking to and about things. So apparently the place where I've got my uh, job interview in a few weeks is actually pretty close to potentially where Night in the Woods takes place. So that could be interesting. Oh yeah, no, Pastor K would, but Pastor K is a more mature grown-up who is more put together than May, so she's gonna make better life decisions than May. Oh no, party barn! So I do not have anti-furry stigma. Um, I actually think it's really mean and kind of crummy that people... <laughs> I am actually Menden. <laughs> There's a small liberal arts college <laughs> in rural Pennsylvania that is applying me up for a job interview in a couple of weeks. Life is weird. Um, I don't know how well I'll do in rural Pennsylvania. <laughs> um, I don't know if it, the location will be a good fit, so we'll find out, but it'll be an adventure. That is possible, Hit2K, but actually Pastor K seems like she's very much a God helps those who help themselves or other people sort of person. 
so. Oh, right, I was talking about the furry stigma. Yeah, so why is it that people were able to still be mean to furries when, like, before the internet became just being mean to everybody? Like, I don't like being mean to or about people, like, at all. Um, but I still made fun of furries for years, and then one day I woke up and I was like, hold up. I don't like being mean to people. Why am I being mean about furries? That's dumb and bad. So I stopped. Um, and then I started defending furries from other jerks and was like, dude, people, we need to stop being jerks to furries. And then they were like, oh, right. Maybe we should stop that. So, yeah. I do think it's that there people like people who are used to being kicked around like having somebody to kick around. It means you're in the in group if you can put somebody else in the out group. So I think that's I think that's a big part of it. <clears throat> I do think it's getting better because the internet is no longer owned by awkward nerds who are trying to find somebody to put in the out group. So yeah. So hey, for those of you who are furries, like I am not one of you, but I've got your back. And I'm sorry people are jerks. Like the, um, it was like basically a terrorist attack on Anthrocon a few years back. And people were making jokes about that. And I was like, what is wrong with you people? <sighs> so yeah. Not cool. Not cool. That's really sad. Yeah. It actually worked pretty well. Shaming people works surprisingly well. If you're appealing to their better nature and you're like, come on, do you realize what you're saying? Do you realize what you're laughing at? Do you realize that on the other side of what is a joke to you are living, breathing, feeling human beings and their health and safety and all they're trying to do is be friends? Oh, I hadn't thought about it that way. Gosh, now I feel like a right jerk. So that works sometimes. Oh, that's right! Yeah, the um, the furry character in Undertale. Um, the guy's self-insertion character who won the Kickstarter. I have Undertale right here. I have... Oh, it's reversed. Anyway, I have the collector's edition right now. If I were a furry, what do I think my first owner would be? That's actually a question I thought about. Um, um, <laughs> this is a really good game for getting real to. Okay, there's a lot of... Um, prompts for that sort of thing. Okay, Smacking, that's an acceptable substitute. The Determination 3 album vinyl set is pretty cool. Um, oh, Squizgar, um, Fan Gamer made a special collector's edition and it comes with a music box pendant, which I haven't taken out yet, but I think it plays his theme. I had a fursona. I don't know. Like, my favorite creatures are otters. But I don't know that that's a good fit personality wise. And I take everything very seriously, so it can't just be I really like this animal, therefore that's my animal. You know? Surprising nobody! Tangent. <clears throat> it says best friends forever.
Oh my god! Okay, that is really cool. Also, hey, the Materia Collective, which I'm part of. Um, our leader, Sebastian Wolf, helps Toby Fox with his um, music licensing. So that means... Oh, I have the Collector's Edition soundtrack, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, comes with... Yes! Sheet music! Which Sebastian helped with, I think. Oh man, the music box is going to continue being really sad, isn't it? I'm sorry, music box. Well, I'm going to put Undertale back in and play with it. Anyway, I'm really excited about this, and I hope that those of you who also love Undertale can be excited about it too. There is some official Undertale sheet music, that is correct. And yes, also Materia Collective is having a big sale this week, kids. Go to materiacollective.bandcamp.com and enter Materia Week to get 20% off everything, including um, our 90 track, 97 track Undertale cover album, Fallen. Anyway, tangent! Um. <clears throat> Hi, Angus! I don't think we ever decided what my fursona would be. I'll have to think on that. Hi, Angus! You're back in town! Good. You can keep Greg from being too sad. Start with a Halloween rush. Oh, everybody wants horror movies. Hey, Blues! No, nothing's really been spooky. There were some, some really real moments emotionally, but... Yeah, Smacky, and I'm glad that you're excited because I do marketing for Materia Collective, so I am biased. <laughs> Why would my persona be an Abyssinian? I'm not arguing, I'm just curious what the argument there is. Oh man, I bet that May's mom is really into like real Scythe Sabbath. Wait, that's spelled wrong. Shouldn't it be with an A? I'm gonna have to pick it because it's spelled wrong. Oh, maybe not? Hmm. <laughs> Is that the entirety of our conversation? Crime waves. Swamp husband! Oh, that's right! I have the swamp husband in Dark Souls. <clears throat> Yes, Doug, we are. Aw, thank you, Jester. <gasps> oh my god, is that an otter? Oh my god, guys, is that an otter? A river otter, naturally. Okay, so I love all of the mustelids, like all of them, but otters are my favorite. I see I like sea otters because they're super like cute and sweet, but river otters are sassy and playful and ridiculous. So yes, oh my god, I have to tell my mustelid obsessed friends that there's an otter. So excited. <laughs> Hi, Sirius Inc. Yes, we are doing Night in the Woods. I'm sorry, this is like the slowest session ever. But, no, you didn't. Oh, Nerd Games. Oh, but did they play D&D? &D? Oh, I bet they did. Nerd Games. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Otter Kid. I guess Otter Adult. Good night, Jester. Thanks for coming, but make sure you get some sleep because it's probably like, what, three in the morning your time? It's bedtime. 
An otter owl. What, like a griffin? For nerd games. <laughs> it is totally D and D. Oh my god, you're a lawyer! That's super cool. <gasps> ah! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, May. May. May, you're ostensibly an adult. This is like what a 13 year old would say. But May is basically 13. <laughs> yes, Doug, we're officially giving you permission to go have fun. with it so you can kind of like see him like switching into talking to kid mode <laughs> Madlands has it all figured out <laughs> awkward silence oh my god she's so tiny compared to adorable gay lawyer otter his shirt has, I was trying to figure that out. A sword through something. Goodness me. Yeah, no, I think being a bank robber would not be a very good career. I assume he did some time. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't, you don't hear that as a, as a, <laughs> as a description of a person very often. Yeah, Nick, I think you're right. It, it, it which would be, which would be a nerd stuff, which is in keeping with the character. Oh no! Oh my goodness! This is interesting. These guys are sad. But they're using their love for sports ball to feel a bit better. Not my favorite NPC. Sorry, guys. Germ is not my type of character. I like... I like the, uh... I like the sweet, tragic, heartfelt ones. <laughs> Wait, what exactly did he ask? He said, I'm not, like, do, do I say yes, I'm going to do it? Is this a trick question? Yes is yes, I'm going to hang out with you, right? Okay. His name is Jeremy. Oh, gosh. Uh...
Huh. That's pretty cool. Good question. Yeah, it was interesting when I was scoping out the area in Pennsylvania that if I do take this job, which I don't know what the odds are of that, um, but all of the towns are like Millville, Millburg, Milton. Like, I guess that must be where there were lots of mills. So, it's interesting. Asphalt weeds and broken glass. I guess somebody's got to see the beauty in it. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. That's actually a very good line. There's a lot of beauty and like it's interesting because it's like this like super stylized to not be poetic form of dialogue, so it finds a way to be poetic um, in a very plain speech way, if that makes sense. So it's like the beauty of the idea or the clarity and power of the phrase rather than particularly impressive fancy word choice. Does that make sense? Does anybody care about this like I care about this? I care about it. Carry about it. Lauren! Oh my god, Germ. Germ is an unusual fellow. I kind of look like what the thing coming out of my head. Look, I've got an antenna! Boop, 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 boop. All right. Okay, we already determined we can't go past that. I mean, like, I'm sure that Germ's kind of a sad weirdo. Like, they're all sad weirdos, but... Lori speaks more to the kind of sad weirdo that I like to connect to. Kaneko, you are actually super fun to follow on Twitter. And your Twitter voice, that would totally have broken your legs. Um, your Twitter voice would like totally fit in with these people. Oh, maybe some triangles. Actually, that's a pretty good way of... That's actually very thoughtful. Girl-coded sad weirdo versus boy-coded sad weirdo. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to lie. I am actually more inclined to female. Hey, I've met you in person. We've hung out and played flute together. Don't give me that. In fact, you came to my house. We hung out. You gave me a little toy. It was great. I like you. And you can't convince me otherwise. Oh, I did that wrong. It's Kaneko like black cat, but with a zero. Well, I mean, I guess there's a difference between, um, not necessarily like gender identity, but the, the, uh, the way characters come across, regardless of what they identify as, like more feminine or more masculine. Yes, it was a toy sewing machine. I actually brought it to a work show and tell last week. I guess it was the week before. I thought you might you might enjoy that. Yeah, Kaneko came to visit. He was in town while I was working on my my Toriel costume, so I was sewing the whole time. Oops. 
I can go get it if you guys want to see it. No! I want to jump on that. I can't even jump on this trash can to make noise to express my frustration. There's a certain degree of emotional honesty and openness that, um, because, uh, people who present as women are, um, socialized to be open with emotions, that's, um, a more coded female way of being. Which is not to say that it is a female thing, if that makes sense. Oh, right, I got stuck on this last time. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna jump on some things. Okay. So now comes the pick your friend date. Well, if we're actually trying to get smooches, I get the feeling that Greg and Angus aren't Polly, so B is my option. But also, she's my, uh, my tragic friend, and therefore, she's the one that Lauren wants to help. That's just how these things are. I will find the tragic, sad character. Can we say hi to Greg without... But yeah, no. <laughs> Thanks, Mackian. Oh my god, May would totally be the third wheel. And Greg would be cool with it, and Angus would be like, uh, I mean, okay. Uh, oops. We'll find out, Hitsuki. I wouldn't normally ship these two. Uh, not these two, obviously, not these two. Um, but I wouldn't normally ship May and B offhand, but the way that they, like I said, the way that they message each other makes me think of flirting in a real way. It's like a Lauren flirtation right there. It's like play on word sass back and forth. I mean, that's also just friendship stuff, but can also be flirtation, so. Hey, buddy! You gonna do the arm wiggle? Yeah, did you just blow yourself up last night, Greg? Don't do it. Oh, Greg. Your boyfriend's in town, though. I feel bad for crushing Greg, except that I know he's gonna be okay. Like, the thing is, like, Greg, he might have problems with, like, crimes and smart life decisions, but he'll be okay. He's got Angus. And he's got a good attitude. Yeah, and he'll find something stupid to do without me. No, that is true. Whereas, like... B. Oh my god, Catboy! Hi, Catboy! Or cat individual. I think the game is keeping track of who I go on on my friendship date with. Also, just like B is more the sort of character that I'm drawn to. Like, I really like, I'm very drawn to helping fix sad, broken, beautiful people. It's a weakness of mine. It's a problem. Yeah, no, Nick, I get that. Well, in my experience, 
people who go by the name B, it's pronounced like B-E-E, -E, even if it's spelled B-E-A. But then when it's Beatrice, then you have the extra syllable. <laughs> I like how their conversation has become less awkward, you know? Yeah, no, fortunately B does not mind that I'm on the counter. I can't jump on the counter at Mom's work. I can't jump on the counter at Greg's work, but I can jump on the counter at B's work, so clearly she's the one I need to hang out with. Oh, man, Harfest. Yay! <laughs> oh my god, I just realized that's a pickaxe over the door. Not a pickaxe, no. Uh, saw. It's a saw. What's that saw? What's that called? There's this sort of saw that you cut down trees with. Hacksaw! Hacksaw. Wait, no, isn't the hacksaw the little one? I think I have one of those. I got it. I don't remember where I got it. Greg is like, we need to hang out. And May is like, no. And then May is like, B, we need to hang out. And bandsaw is called that because it's got a, it's like an auto thing, kind of like a chainsaw. It's got like a, a band thing. No, hatchet is a thing that you, it's an axe. I'm helping. Crosscut saw. Hmm. Excuse me. Hi, Ella. Everything about my life is exhausting. Aww. Yeah. I thought so too, actually. <laughs> Gundy nice. <laughs> if you believe hard enough in the saw, it can be anything you want it to be. Oh, DX man. Good pun. <laughs> See, like, B's sense of humor is just great. I really like... Ooh, almost a song title. Yep. No, you can't. Is there anyone that I haven't talked to yet? Telescope, Selmers, Lori, Germ, Angus, Mom, Kay, Bruce, oh, I didn't look underground. You're right. You are right. Let's go see what other, what other trouble the kids have gotten into. Let's go do that. Yes. We must go visit the disaffected youths. Okay, so maybe they didn't get laid off because I think these are different people than were here last time. Ah, wrong way. I've gotten two or three of the windmill things. Look, I had to feed some miracle rats. There were three of them and they got excited when I got in. That's exciting for me. They recognize that I am their mother. Soon they will turn into dragons and will fly around the land. So I may and I get along. I thought there were four of them, Nick. Hmm. Nothing there. Shh. I'm right. You know I'm right. And these guys ha were sad and bonded. Okay, so I got the... 
I got the um, teeter totter thing um, on this roof. See? And then I got one by Lori, and I think there was another one. I swear there was a book with a rat dragon. Sorry I weirded you out, otter guy. Oh, the game of rat and dragon! By Cordwainer Smith! If there's another one, I haven't found it. Because I think I've done three. Oh, hi, sad fellow. You do not look happy. I swear there used to be four of you guys. Now there's two. It is a short story. So Cordwainer Smith is a really interesting um, science fiction writer who wrote short stories and one novel, but I wouldn't, like the novel's not the big thing. I actually would heartily recommend Cordwainer Smith. He wrote a series of interconnected short stories um, in a universe he called The Instrumentality of Mankind. Um, and they're like, there's actually animal people in it, sort of. Um, the one that really moved me the most when I was a kid, it's called The Ballad of Lost Kamel. Um, and it has parallels to the civil rights movement, which given that it was written quite a while ago, was actually pretty cool. Um, no, the instrumentality of mankind is not the same as human instrumentality. Um, but no, um... I think the game of Rat and Dragon is actually not in the instrumentality of mankind world, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I do recommend it. What he does with words is really fascinating. Like, um, I'm trying to think of some of the names of his short stories. There's this really interesting wordplay, and the fun like the way the stories function is not what I'm used to. Apparently he spent a lot of time in China and like, so like the norm of like the, the arc and flow of a story is different in like Chinese storytelling versus like Western European storytelling. And you can kind of see some of that other flavor in his and not in a like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like the Orient Orientalist, like when people, um, kind of take a thing and are like, oh, isn't this cool and exotic? It's not like that. It's more like he like legitimately like was spent a lot of time with this culture and like elements of it seeped naturally into what he wrote. So yeah, you should try reading some Code Wayner Smith. Also, he's a fascinating person. So you should read about him too. I think he's cool. Anyway, yeah, let's go on a date. We're going to go on a not date with B. Oh, hey, interesting, some triangles. I didn't realize that, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised um, for what I know of Evangelion. I actually think that, um, I don't know. There's a lot of cynicism about government um, and belief in the beauty of, of humanity. God, what are those called? Some of them are basically like fables in space, like tall tales in space. Uh, I'm trying to remember what they're called, but some of them are just, like, gorgeous. Anyway, tangent, tangent, tangent. <sighs> you can actually find some of his stuff online now, like, legally. Hey, germ, what you doing back behind the counter, buddy? Do you work here? Oh, under the table cash, I see. Hmm. Yes. Oh no, please don't. He. <laughs> Richard's scary. How old is your pizza, George? Should I worry about you? Hmm. 
Bye, Blues. Yeah, this is this is a plot moment, definitely. So. Oh my gosh, is this Walmart? Wait, was the pizza just sitting out or was it in the fridge? Because if it's several days old and it was sitting out, like pizza is fine overnight, probably. But beyond that, I was really pushing it. If it's not in the fridge, you're probably fine. Oh my god, Nox is upside down with a little pause out. Hold on. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but Ham Panther. Okay, hold on. So, oh, you can't see. Well, anyway, what you can't see there is that Nox is being really hilarious and adorable. And there's Ella, who's being less hilarious but still adorable. All right, grocery date. Uh. Ah. Bye, Kaneko. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Oh, I'm I am off screen. Thank you, George. I didn't realize that. See, Nervous Lock Rabbit, we had Food Lion when I was a little, little kid and we lived in North Carolina, but we haven't, we don't have them here in Texas. So we had a whole conversation about Food Lion and Food Donkey when I first started this game. Piggly Wiggly is a great name. Did you ever play the Piggly Wiggly game that involves, uh, it's a sleepover game and it involves um, sleeping bags. A main course and two sides. Dessert. <laughs> so no broccoli. <sighs> Aha. What's this? Green beans. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, rice. Oh, beets, you're right. Biscuits. Oh man. Bakey shaky. Oh my god, I love shake and bake. When I was a kid, I ate a lot of that. A lot of that. Like, I cook a lot these days. Well, no. These days I don't cook a lot. But prior to that, I cooked a lot for like 10 years. Uh, but I did not grow up eating lots of home cooked from scratch food. Okay. Biscuits? No. Cream spinach? No. Mac and cheese? No. Taters, like tater tots. Mashed potatoes, no, no. Nice rice, no. I need some sort of a veggie. What is this? Suck what is, what even is succotash? Like what is succotash? 
Cream of chicken soup? That's not beets. Wait, succotash is fish? Well, okay, Smackin, you have to realize that, like, even though I lived in North Carolina as a kid for several years, again, my mom is from Canada and my dad is from Brooklyn, so, like, I had to learn to cook Southern and Texan food myself, like, as an adult, so. Alright, so we're gonna have, like, shake and bake chicken, green beans, oh, and mac and cheese! I was actually just thinking about it, mac and cheese and chicken nuggets lately. I mean, they're, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Gonna decide between tater tots, mac and cheese, because I'm a small child. Oh, it does, the, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I lived in Cary. Went to school in Raleigh when I was in like kindergarten and first grade. This is an important decision, guys. I know that B is gonna make fun of me. Tots are really popular. I picked green beans and shake and bake. So I can pick one more. I can't pick Sakatash because I already got green beans. Okay, looks like it's like unanimous. You guys are wanting Oh man, like every barbecue is beautiful, Chrono. <laughs> oh, I love mac and cheese. I actually got powdered mac and cheese. Um, that's how you knew that I wasn't doing so great last year. Is I was finally like, okay, I'm not eating food. I'll just make mac and cheese. Oh my gosh. So I hate powdered mac and cheese. Hate powdered mac and cheese. Not ma powdered mac and cheese. Powdered mashed potatoes. But the, the vote is in! Like, Gundy, I'm in Texas, and Texas has a, has a very big um, opinion with its own, but it's brisket here. Brisket is the way to go. Yeah, mashed potatoes are more grown up. Oh, wait, but I can only get two sides. Oh, I could have gotten biscuits! You can't put things back, can you? Oh man, I love mac and cheese, but I super like homemade. I really like homemade mac and cheese. That's one of my specialties. Like, I, yeah, no, it's really important, Proto. We have to decide what we're having for dinner. Grits? Okay, grits are weird. Like, who on earth came up with them? No, that's true, Gundy. Brisket versus, like, everybody else's barbecue. Yeah, no, so when I make, when I made homemade mac and cheese, I'll use like four different kinds of cheese and put caramelized onions and sometimes sun-dried tomatoes, sometimes bacon if I'm not cooking for vegetarians, um, sometimes a hint of mustard, um, nutmeg goes really well. So. See, B said she's on a budget though, so I can't just get tons of things. Yeah, but like, so you like soak 
corn in lye and it becomes hominy. And then you grind up hominy. And then you dry that. And then you cook that. And that's grits. That's my take on that. Isn't it hominy? Okay, that makes sense, Gundy. I know that a lot of what we think of as southern, southern food comes from that. <laughs> yeah, no, putting butter and salt on grits, suddenly I understood why grits existed. Oh, I thought grits was by default hominy. I mean, you also have to understand that, like, again, my family, Ontario and Brooklyn. So I know a lot about bagels and I have big feelings about pizza and deli. And Nanaimo bars. And there, oh, Canadian Smarties versus the like horrible sweet tart candies that we have here. Hmm. Yeah, no, Ampy, I've taken um, box mac and cheese and cut up like mushrooms and other things and put it in there and it's good. I didn't know you could make good with this one. My mom is from Hamilton, which is hilarious because apparently it's not a very big town, but now I have a bunch of friends from Hamilton, including some people who run the anime convention there, so that was funny. Okay, well, I didn't know that you could make grits with just corn. Well, Gundy, my family thinks it's weird enough that I make um, chicken fried steak and cream gravy. Like, I don't like brown gravy, so I didn't think I like gravy. And then I realized that cream gravy is like a food of the gods, so. Yes, Hamilton has an anime convention. It's very exciting. Um, oh man, elk jerky and huckleberries. What does a huckleberry taste like, Chibi Ma? But yeah, no, so at some point in college, I decided I was going to learn to make a chicken fried steak. So I went to the grocery store and I was trying to figure out what I wanted. It's just like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. So I just like stood in the meat aisle, facing the meat. And I was like, can anybody help me? I want to make chicken fried steak for the first time and I don't know what kind of meat to use. And like, um, all these like women just like flocked to me and were like, let me tell you, this is what you want. Oh no, honey, you don't want that. You want this. And then they're all giving me their recipes and tips and stuff. It was amazing. I was really happy, which is part of why I'm scared of moving to Pennsylvania, because I don't think you can do that there, because I know when I go visit my family in New Jersey and I start talking to people in the grocery store, they think I'm weird. If I talk to people on the street, they think I'm going to mug them. If I talk to people on the beach, they think I'm going to kidnap their children. <laughs> This is a hazard. Because <laughs> I can't not talk to everybody. Uh... Noted, Gundy. I might come back to North Carolina at some point. It'd be kind of fun to see the house that I lived in when I was teeny. And I've still got some old family friends there. You think so, Kangaroops? Like... Oh, man. But, like, you don't, like, just, like, stand and talk all the time. You talk while you're doing a thing. Or if you're, like, waiting in line at the grocery store. Or you're, like, waiting in line at the movie theater. Or you're, like, waiting in line, like, literally anywhere. You talk to the people around you. It's great. I love... No, but, like, Hitsuki, usually it's great. I've made friends that way. I find out about, like, good places to eat if I'm traveling someplace I don't know. I've helped people who need their... Like, people who get lost around Austin, I'm like, hey, I'll help you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm that person. I'm sorry. But I can usually tell somebody really doesn't want to talk. Sometimes I can tell somebody is okay with talking, but they're, like, anxious about it. Um, but sometimes I can tell people, are like, what are you doing? Go away, you strange weirdo. And I'm like, oh. But if I run into too many people like that, I get really sad. So I could never move to New Jersey. I would be a big outcast. Knox, you won't fit in that box. Okay. Okay, Knox. There. Go ahead. Get in that box. 
All right, so I'm pretty sure that B said she wanted two sides and a main course. And we've already got green beans, mashed potatoes. I want biscuits and shake and bake chicken. That is a, that is a good meal. Yeah, see can groups, apparently that's what they think. So. Hi, Nox. Hi, baby. All right. I want to get the biscuits. I'm going to get the biscuits. Okay. Yeah, when I was thinking about living in Chicago, I wanted having to talk to my friend in Chicago. I was like, can I do that? He was like, yes. <gasps> oh. Yay! Oh, I was really kind of hoping, but I knew she wouldn't. Ah, we're going to say hi to Dad. Wait, why is the meat counter the deli? That they're different, I thought, but okay. Yeah, no, B doesn't care about you and your rules. <laughs> oh my gosh. May would ride around in the shopping carts. She would be that friend. And then be like, why does everybody think I'm a child? Oh, hey, greeters. See, look, I totally was right. Oh. Chicken! Oh! 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 Or pork chops! Both of those things go well with shake and bake. Well? Should we get chicken? Or pork chops? I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, Corona's vote is for chicken. Mmm. Bye, Doug! I'll chat with you later. We'll probably have material stuff to discuss. And we should collaborate on some Night in the Woods music, just saying. We should collaborate on a thing. Oh, man. Looks like chicken is winning out. Pork chops are still delicious. But yeah, no, chicken is more reliable and you're less likely to die. Okay. Oh no, don't eat the pig masks, okay? That is not a good idea. Pig masks are people. Family tacos, oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah. Maybe that's where they'll dispose of the dead bodies. <laughs> Your sarcasm is invalid, what? Hey, now when you have to do it all the time. 
Oh, D. You were happier. Oh, Knox. What are you doing? Meowing and looking at me. There was a severed arm, that's true, but I don't think that May's dad cut it off. This sounds ominous. <gasps> oh my god! It's her daddy! What? I'm trying to figure out her expression. I did okay. Oh, good. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I have to know what this is. Oh, huh. Oh. Oh, May. Oh, no, Madeline's. Why? That would be very sad. Oh, no. how May is like I don't know it looks like it's um, the stool is just a little tinted tilted oh I wonder if you can put together a super great meal but uh I guess I picked some reliable stables Oh man, it would be super great to cook really well. Mm. Something significant is happening and May doesn't understand it. Oh, goodness. Well, sitting on the couch watching TV is a thing that daughters do with their fathers in my life, too. Like, that's what I do with my dad. <laughs> well, that's what I did. These days, I meet my dad at restaurants. Um, and we eat lunch. And then maybe we go to his place and sit at his kitchen table for a few hours. Um, it's kind of a problem. Uh, but what can you do? Life is weird. But yeah, no, this used to be what my dad and I would do. You gonna say anything to him? I gotta be nosy. You know how it is. Okay, we're gonna talk to Mr. Dad Man. Here we go, yes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh May. Yeah, no May likes hockey because it's violent and Uh, have you never been to B's house? Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so there's no safe conversation topic in that. Okay.
Yeah. No, not quite like that. Oh, we haven't seen... Oh. Oh. Oh, no, Greg. Oh, no, Greg. Now I'm really worried about Greg. Plasma Koala, it has been a while. Oh man. Selling yourself out? Like, what does that even mean? Trying. Some of us don't get the chance to quit. Think that's the cat? Ah. Oh. No, no. No. No, no, no. 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 Oh, God. Oh, May. May, you precious child. I'm sorry. This is really brilliant on a meta level. You always have a choice. Which, by the way, I think is the tag, like, not the tagline, but, like, the catchphrase in Spec Ops the line, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah, no, this is very clever. Child woman with no job. No, that's very, very highly, clearly intentional. Uh, yeah, my ex was super into Spec Ops. It was basically his favorite game, so I have not seen it. I am not going to play it or watch it, but I'm very familiar with it. It is not for me, but I really respect what it does.
I don't even know what to say. And now he's sleeping. Wow. That was uh, good, I suppose. How did I even get home? I guess I walked. I guess it must not be that far. All right, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah well they seem very intentional about when they give you control and when they don't give you control like this is a very 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 like intentionally s composed game <laughs> that is not untrue. Hmm. <laughs> it's only life. Hmm. Of course, Dad. Why would you ever say no? Even though you have to watch horribly unfunny comedy with your dad, it's still bonding. Look, I developed a taste for boxing so I could hang out with my dad. For people getting concussions and bleeding from their faces and it being a great thing if somebody was hit so hard, whose brain was so damaged that they couldn't stand up afterwards. So, you can put up with a lot of television to bond with your father. Huh. <laughs> oh no. I like how you see them look at the audience. Oh, goodness. Welp. That's a thing. Good night, Dad. Oh. Okay. I can climb the staircase. Man. It is very interesting that you can only talk to your mom during the day and you can only talk to your dad at night. Oh my gosh, is there really some triangles? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Like, I really want to know what's in there. Maybe I don't actually want to know what's in there, but I think I do. Let's go talk to our friends on chat. Greg, please don't have blown yourself up. If Greg is actually bipolar and untreated and unmedicated and we see him, like, hypomanic all the time, that makes me really worry. Yeah. Oh, I did not actually expect her to respond. Well, that's good. We apologize, like, immediately. Huh. 
Hmm. Yeah, like... I don't know. So, I mean, again, like, I have bipolar too, and if Greg hasn't been hospitalized for a full-blown manic episode, he seems like, if anything, he has hypomania, but there doesn't seem to be the swing. I don't know. Oh, what? Hold up. Oh, okay, well, there you go. Mm. No. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, actually, yeah. Okay, you've convinced me. The way he types is different right now. <laughs> Thanks, Sharkle. Demon Tower, one of these days I'll try to beat you, but I don't think I'll be able to succeed. I need to remember that the cat onion news is there. Letting us know bad things. Okay, well. Yeah, no, like, uh. I think I probably, even if B hadn't said that, based on that conversation with Greg. I can kind of see it. All right, you guys ready for another nightmare? I guess we better do this. Yo, well, she talks about coffee calming her down. Is, oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that that was a ADHD thing. Watch them just not have a nightmare just to mess with me. Oh, it's the train! Coffee super affects me. Oh, I forgot about dream physics. Oh, I can't jump on trees. Oh, I didn't know that Riddle was assuming. Oh, oh my god, there's gonna be more music. You ready? I'm ready. That's really interesting. I had no idea. I had no idea that coffee helped ADHD people. I'm sorry, Blade Tiger. Ah, uh, this doesn't look good. That looks ominous. You know, it's like an entire... ...town on a train. Possum Springs, Deer Hollow Country, huh? There's sound effects. Yeah, these lights are really discordant. That moon. Deep Hollow County. Hello, moon. So strange the way the layers are. <gasps> no, it's the same. 
same figure as before! Who are you? Why were you looking in the background last time? You weren't smoking a pipe that I saw. Who are you? This music is really ominous instead of beautiful. So now I'm at the front of the train. Yeah, the solo violin is very, uh... Okay, so here's the, um... Like, I love this right here. I love this detail. So cool. Ah, uh, why is this game so incredibly artistically gorgeous and like brilliantly designed and all of the pieces are so cool. Oh my god, I can't, I can't wrap my head around not liking the dream parts. Although, I believe that other people don't because people like different things. Who are these spirits? I think it does probably give the relative positions. I'm just exploring. Like, she's asking good-natured spirits to save the day with music. Like these, don't these seem evil? No, but like the so much of what's good in this game is also what doesn't go what goes unsaid. I'm I mean I'm also really partial to uh, psychological dream spaces in games. Would they make me do detailed platforming? I don't know that they would. I think I saw that one actually. Okay. I think I know what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. For me, the... There! That's where I want to be. Okay. I'll have to figure that out. Here. No. Oh. See, I like the fact that I can follow... That I can basically learn the rules in a way. idea of the dream sequences in... Ah, oh, that's not right. I really like the idea of the dream sequences in Max Payne, and I feel like Max Payne 2 gets them right. I never actually super got into the dream sequences in, uh... The... Shadows dream sequences for as much as I loved that game. Alright. How do I do this? Ha! Ah, no! Okay, got it. So you jump on there and then you jump again. Got it. I can do this. I can do this. Yes, Astral Alley has beautiful music. Got it!
This music is really eerie and unsettling. That was super cool. Oh, there's a lot of movement and momentum in the music. this for a minute. The accordion part with the tuba especially, like it, it feels like a train. Can't you hear that? be like what the percussion would be doing for this, you know? Although the, the accordion is doing that, actually. And it fits perfectly, yeah. Like the, the train fits perfectly with the music. So it's not tragically beautiful, so I don't like it as much as Astral Alley. But it's a good song. So let's see, what kind of what kind of creature are we thinking this will be? For some reason it was a bear the first time and a squirrel the second time. Who would have a snake? Or a lizard? I'm gonna go with a snake with the train on its back. Or maybe a giant bird. Let's find out. Like, on one hand, it comes from, yeah, like, on one hand, it's, like, as a nightmare, as a dream, it comes from hanging out with Lori by the train tracks, and then having a fight with B, the gator. No, I don't think that was B. I think that those are some sort of spirit creatures. That was definitely a gator, though, in my opinion. Well, it's actually about time for me to shut down. Because I actually kind of like doing a whole day cycle. And I can try to do more than one next time. Yeah, no, like, if, if, we, if we think about it as a nightmare, the way nightmares are us processing things that happen during our days and what we're scared of. But I don't think that these are nightmares. I think that these are in some way magically significant if that makes sense well I'm glad you could make it even if it's just for a little bit bonus Josh um, I am 
Oh. I mean, we can look in our journal. Dinner! Oh, hey, yeah. Camp Panther dinner. Dad is happy. We had a fight. Oh. Uh. You missed a lot, Cistern? Was it just not jumping around on things as much? Oh! Oh, this is Lori's little dude! Her little soldier got flattened. This is Germ out in the parking lot. <sighs> that was cute. Wonder if she added more miracle rats this time. Oh, I see. Okay, cistern. So it's a different a different playthrough thing. <laughs> Yeah. Welp. We need to have another band practice. See, there it says maybe. Oh, hey, she added meats. Huh, interesting. Huh. <sighs> Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. It has been, as always, a really good experience to have a good crew joining me on my game adventure. Um, I like you guys. I think that this is fun. I really like this game a lot. I'm going to think about it some more. I will be here next week. I will not be here Thursday because my band and I are driving up to play a gig in Tulsa and Dallas. So Thursday I'll be in a car instead of streaming. But I will be here next Tuesday. So we will do more Night in the Woods next Tuesday. Um, let me get, if you want, uh, if you haven't joined us on our Discord yet, you are welcome to join us on our Discord. Also, if you want to follow me on social media so you know what's going on, you can do that there. Thank you, George. That's going to be in two weeks' time. And then I will be not streaming Night in the Woods conceivably. We'll see how it goes. I will let you guys know. But I will head out now. Make sure that you take care of yourselves um, and be good to yourselves. And if you've had times like B or like me, try to forgive yourself and just do the best you can. That's all we can do. Good night.